So as it says, we're going to solve it using the corner point method. So our first task is to turn the words into a linear program problem. Once we do that, then it becomes a 5-4 problem. So read over the pretty italics. The first thing we have to do is name and define some variables. The naming and defining the variables is based on what you don't know. We'll look at the second and last question. How many of each can be uh, bought to maximize storage capacity? Do we know how many of each type of cabinet can be bought to maximize storage capacity? No. So that's where your variables come from. So X will be the number of cabinet A's purchased. And Y will be the number of cabinet B's purchased. Has anyone fallen over and died? No. So please make sure you write a complete sentence, number of, number of in this case. Don't say X is cabinet A and Y is cabinet B, because then X plus Y is like a huge storage unit. We're not doing that. Don't be lazy. All right, now let's write our LPP. Are we trying to maximize or minimize? Maximize. What are we trying to maximize? So we'll say maximize Z equals. How much storage do we get from cabinet A? Nine. Nine cubic feet. Plus, how much storage do we get from cabinet B? Subject to what do we have restrictions on? We have a say it one more time. Yeah. What else do we have restrictions on? Space. Uh, I think that's it. All right. So we're going to put all the money-related numbers together in one inequality. Well, each cabinet A costs six fifty. American? All right. I would not buy these cabinets. I don't trust them. And we have X of these cabinets. So it would be 6.5X. Plus, how much does each cabinet B cost? 11. Are these like the IKEA reject cabinets? I don't even know. But notice as it says, he has 92 bucks to spend. So that means at most, 92. So 6.5, 11, and 92 all deal with money. So put those numbers together. Now let's talk about space. How much space does cabinet A take up? And we have X said cabinets. Plus, how much space does cabinet B take up? We have Y. And he has at most 80 square feet. Can he purchase a negative amount of cabinets? No. The government's not going to come in and repo his cabinets. So make sure we have these inequalities. Remember the first two, the cost and the space, are called functional constraints. And then for your word problems, you're most likely going to have non-negative constraints. 